Okay, we're back. Uh, I've got uh, something new. I, I have uh, picked up a second one of these All Powers SF200 panels, and I thought I would demonstrate another really neat use case for these things. Being that they're so light, nine pounds, and they've got these very nice uh, grommets on the side, um, maybe you can figure it out. Uh, a great use for these is for uh, apartment condo owners, or anybody with a, with a deck or a balcony uh, and a railing. You, could, uh, you can hang these on your railing and make power. You don't need uh, you know, a flat surface, a roof. Uh, they won't make uh, perfect power uh, being vertically mounted, but they will make some. And depending on the time of the year and the time of the day and which direction your, uh, your deck faces, uh, you make, make some pretty good power. Uh, we are out in the front of my house. This is my front porch. And this railing faces due west, so uh, it's about 2.30 right now, and the sun is going to be setting straight over there. And uh, I'll find out how much power I can make uh, with these panels uh, come evening. But I thought I would show putting them up right now. So uh, I'm going to use the included straps from All Powers. And uh, I did not mention this in the previous video. But they send also with this panel, it came with a uh, uh, MC60 to XT4 uh, cable. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to put both of these in parallel with, with the set of adapters that I have. And we're going to uh, see what the new Blue Eddy Hands-Free 2 can, uh, can make with these panels. Um, so I'm going to put you on fast forward here. And uh, I'll get this rigged up and we'll see what we get when we come back. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I had to, uh, I, uh, I chose unwisely. I started with that panel uh, too close to the house and it was catching shade, so I ended up moving it down. And uh, so I tucked, uh, tucked the cables in. Of course, if this was on your balcony, you wouldn't be standing out in front of the balcony. You'd be back there. So all the cables would be tucked in back there. But uh, that's not where we are today. So I have the luxury of being able to plug this in while I'm standing out in midair. And let's see what, uh, what the hands-free 2 does. Make sure I'm not shading anything. 54 watts, 107 watts, 128 watts, 136 watts, 157 watts. Wow, that's pretty good. And the sun is just maybe 20 degrees over there. Now I've got, this is 400 watts worth of panels. Uh, this will take up to 350 watts, uh, but it only has an eight amp uh, current limit. So uh, we're, not, we're, not gonna, we're not gonna get to 350 watts. To do that, you need well over 40 volts or over 40 volts. And we're not gonna get that out of these, but uh, we'll see what this thing does. Um, yeah, this is neat. I'm going to uh, redo the cables, put this guy back behind there, and we'll come back later in the day. Okay, I changed my mind. I decided to redo it yet again. Um, so I flipped this panel around because I realized that the, uh, the connection box on it, even though I put them side by side, the connection box was shading uh, the first few cells here. And I also wanted to see if uh, the leads would be long enough. So uh, it turns out they are. If you were to put these uh, on, on say your, your patio and you wanted to run several of them in series, are the leads long enough that you could put all the junction boxes on the same side and be able to connect them in series? And clearly they are. So uh, that's, that's also, a, that's, that, well, that's why they're so long. You don't have to put them, the panels you know, side by side this way you can put them side by side lengthwise and the leads will reach. So um, I will be connecting these in parallel with my parallel adapter, but I don't want to do that in the front. So I'm going to run them back through. Okay, so we are, we are on my balcony. I've got my power station. 
I'm going to connect that guy up. And let's see what we get here. 54 watts, 110, 135, 145, 148, 220, 227 watts. And the sun is just right there. It's maybe 15 degrees, 20 degrees. Uh, this is obviously going to increase as the... Uh, as the sun continues, it, it's, uh, it's going to set directly across there. And apparently I need to resecure re some Velcro from leading on it here. Uh, this will be interesting. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll maybe post in the description uh, or comments what I ultimately get out of these things as the sun comes straight across, uh, you know, before sunset. Um, so this is definitely a viable thing for apartment dwellers. Okay, so here's what I got later in the day, 256, 252 watts. If you divide the wattage by that 30.8 volts, you get the 8.2 amp current limit that the hands-free is capable of taking. The point here is not to show what these panels are capable of, just that they're capable of making good power hanging on a railing. Thanks for watching.